In this video, I have simulated a trouble to fix it and explain to you every procedure I made to troubleshoot. I will show you my troubleshooting techniques on basic motor control without live circuit. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I must explain to you the scenario. The operator has informed me that the turning gear as turn push button does not work. The first thing I would do is to witness the trouble myself. I need to gather as much information as possible to help me better in troubleshooting. To do this, I must have knowledge on how the operation works. A turning gear is a reversible electric motor that rotates the propulsion engine ahead in astern rotation. Summing up from what I observed, panel has source voltage, motor forward rotation works as well as indicating light when forward push button is pressed, motor astern rotation does not work as well as indicating light when astern push button is pressed. Based from this observation, I can assume that the forward control and power circuit has power. I can also assume that Astern control and power circuit has no power. The fault must be at the control or power circuit. But in order for the Astern power and indicator light circuit to be energized, 1K5 contactor must be energized. So based on this logic, the fault is narrowed down to the control circuit, which has the 1K5 contactor. switch off the circuit breaker and I would put the lockout tag out if available. I test my tester to ohmmeter to check continuity in between leads. I switch to voltmeter and check if there's no more voltage in the circuit. The reason I did this is because I don't want to be electrocuted during the process. Now that I have confirmed that there's no more voltage in the system, my next goal is to isolate the circuit I will be testing, disconnecting at least one of the terminal of this circuit. I prefer to disconnect the terminal after the load. I used an alligator clip to connect one of my leads right after the control source voltage. In this setup, I expect a continuity reading before the load and a higher resistance reading after the load. Now I can start my testing and I will see you in a bit.
this point, I don't get a reading even though I press the push button. I suspect that there's a problem at the remote control. Then I opened to check the inside of the remote control and found out a disconnected wire. I put the wire back to its original junction and to test later. So this is just a simulation. I hope you learned something on the process of troubleshooting. If you have other techniques, please let me know in the comments so I could also learn from you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.